joining us this morning, Richard. Morning. It's the second week of the US government shutdown, and so far investors seem to have been pretty complacent. But is this getting real now? As the days tick by, it certainly is. I mean, in terms of the shutdown itself, it's probably too early to have had too much of an effect on the US GDP. And uh, from an investment point of view, it's almost a sideshow to the debt ceiling and the all-important date of the 17th of October. What I suspect is going to happen is that uh, however sanguine markets have been so far, as we tick nearer to the 17th of October without any re resolution, we can expect to see some fairly choppy markets. Do you think that a US default is looking like a possibility now? Well, it's always a question of uncertainty, of course, and uh, whilst it remains almost unthinkable that the US would drive itself down this particular road and begin to default on some of its obligations and, and all the subsequent implications that would have on the global economy, um, of course we can't say for sure that it won't happen until such time as there seems to be at least a chink of light in terms of the negotiation between the parties out in the state. So uh, with that in mind, um, every single uh, release that's coming out, be it from the president or from his opposition, um, is being gone through with a fine tooth comb um, just to look for some small chinks of, of positivity. I mean, as you say, the latest signs, so far at least, aren't encouraging. How are you positioning yourself at the moment? I think it's fair to say we've, we've seen uh, the, the market spike sort of 1% up, 1% down. The Dow Jones finished up 1% up, for example, on Friday. But that's on the back of fairly light volumes, which tends, therefore, to exacerbate market movements. I think it's fair to say that uh, until we get uh, some sort of resolution, um, at least on the horizon to this situation, a lot of investors are simply standing back, keeping their money off the table, um, just in case the unthinkable happens. There's a report in the FT that John Paulson and a clutch of US hedge, fund, hedge funds are leading a charge into Greek banks. Do you think this is premature given that there's still talk of a third bailout for Greece? Strangely, as uh, there have been uh, so few investment destinations for negative real returns on cash over the last six months, increasingly Europe has been mentioned um, about potentially being at the start of its recovery story. Certainly, if we compare the situation in the Eurozone today to 18 months ago, um, f fears of defaults and, and uh, debt in general seem to have been supplanted by trying to get the Eurozone into growth. So it's certainly for the more aggressive investors to be dipping their toe in the European waters, uh, but it's not been unheard of for the last couple of months.